Okay, we got inside the Twin 5. Now, this particular Twin 5 belongs to my best friend since we were kids. I remember when he got this. And we ran trains with it. It was amazing. It, because it was, it, it just was incredible. Okay, I did figure out what happened. For the last few years, we've been trying to use it. And uh, track two did not work. But I plugged it in and I tested all these with the multimeter. Turns out the track two, the reason it didn't work now that I look at it, is it's extremely oxidized. And I had, you know, I did a little scraping and stuff. And I got the voltage and I tested, tested the uh, rheostat and it works. So that's good. It means all I got to do is clean that. I got to clean all of them. Because now when I look at them, they are all quite oxidized. But they all work. Now I got this up. I, once again, I ground the rivets off. One of you suggested, said, you know, you usually take those out by drilling. That's true. But when I tried a drill bit on the transamp, it, the bit was slipping. And I didn't want to go get a bigger drill bit and make a bigger hole. It There's... The, Turns out they are pop rivets. Remember I showed you those things in the transamp? That was the end of the rivet, which is still on there. I couldn't figure out. When I did this one, they just fell off into the inside. So it turns out it was a, it was a cheap pop rivet. And now that we know, well, it doesn't matter because we are going to... I'm thinking of JB welding a nut here so I can use a fine thread screw. I don't want to use... One of those machine screws that, like the self-drilling kind or whatever, that go in there. I want to have a, I want to have a threaded screw here. And it's no problem. I mean, JB welded nut on there. That worked great. This one's got some some rust in it. I know I know it's history. So we need to clean all that out, and we're gonna repaint this, of course. It's got a little bit of rust here and there. No big deal. Now a couple of years ago, we went and got some some of these white rubber feet probably from ace hardware these are fantastic and we took a little goop and glued them on and normally like you've seen on the tech 2 and the other power packs i've been using the brown rubber feet these are softer and they grip they really grip nice i really like these we're gonna do that again we're gonna clean all this rust out and we're gonna repaint that guy with some nice we're gonna primer him with some rust preventing primer and then we're going to paint him with a nice glossy black enamel and probably even clear coat it also with some uh, some glossy clear coat and make sure it's nice and it's got to look better than brand new now let's see what we got here let's see what's inside what is in the mighty twin five as you can see Okay, these are not spider webs. Those are like hot glue strings. Let's get you a better vantage point to look down into this thing. That is what's in the Twin 5. Okay, so we got all the switches. And then, that looks like a big capacitor. It's probably for the momentum. I would think, because there's two of them in here, and each side's got momentum. There are two transformers. I already tried matching the transformer of the of the transamp with using the numbers that are on it, and I can't find it. So I'm going to zoom in on this, and any of you guys who are who know a lot about these things, I want you to help me choose. If I'm going to replace these, even though they work, if I'm going to replace them, I want you to suggest something to replace them. Something I can get at DigiKey. Okay, there's that's what's in there. There's two of those. That's one set of information you need. Okay, so if you uh, write that down. I cannot match this. So I don't know. Uh, it, apparently they're so obsolete that 
They don't even show up in the obsolete section of DigiKey. Um, and the Transamp has one of these that is a one amp. This should be, well, let's find out. On the back side is some more information that we're going to find useful. So I'm going to zoom in on this, and I want you guys, like, like, pause it right here. If you know a lot about these transformers, I want you to let's see if I can hold this. I got to hold this steady so that you guys can, can like, look at that. Okay. So we know it's it's 120 volts AC. The transamp I think says 115. I don't know. Oh yeah, and then remember over here when I was looking at it, I couldn't see the fact that that is actually 18 volts. And I tested these, and they are what they say they are. They they all tested. I think that these even being corroded, these are like at 14.8 or 9. So I think cleaning them up probably get them right on that. That. The DC was pretty much right on, and the AC was pretty much right on. Now, let's go back here and look at this information. You guys help me. I have not matched transformers on the DigiKey chart before, so I don't know exactly what I should be searching for. And here it is. Okay, so. Track 2 output, 11V8. That's like the total... Like volt amps, or you guys know about that, right? So that's the total output of track two. Track one, access output, track one and access output is also 11 VA with a total of 22 VA volt amps. Now, what it said, okay, take a look at that, write that down if you need to. Okay, you guys help me figure out what I'll, I want to upgrade this. Now, what it says in the instructions that I had just so happened to have, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make images of those. I'm going to put them up. I'll probably put them in the community tab of, this, of our YouTube channel here so that everybody can see them if you don't have them. Now, what it does say, it gives a couple ways to wire these two together because you don't want transformers. You can make them to where it's uh you can get the whole 22 amps by wearing I don't remember if it's parallels or whatever it is. There's like there's two ways to do this to wire them together, and I think that says like O scale because it does say you know how O scale they got a third rail. Okay, you can use this for that, and there's some instructions for wiring that. What I'm really curious about is how do you get the AC, how do you get the 16 volts AC out of the transformer? That I haven't figured out. What I looked at, okay, everybody got that paused or written down? Okay, now I'm going to turn it over again. Okay, now, so if I'm going to do this with a new, if I'm going to put in a new transformer, and probably we're going to have to replace these, even though... We've never really used the momentum on this. We're probably going to do that. What I noticed on the AC out, we won't be able to see it in here, but on the AC out, there's a bunch of uh, diodes that are probably used to uh, do the AC thing. And then we got some various capacitors on here. And so we can recap this whole thing, right? We can redo all the capacitors. We can take these sockets out. We're going to clean them so that they're perfect. We're going to have to empty everything out of this case and get rid of the rust. We don't want that in there. And get rid of it. There's a lot of hot glue strings in here. No spider webs, so that's good. And look at all that hot glue on the light bulbs. I want to replace all those with LEDs. And there's that, that uh, I think that's the overload bulb right there. Um, we got to get everything out, and we got to redo the inside of this. Then we clean up the outside. This one, we must make it so that when you go all the way up, that's got to go to 11. 10's not enough. We got to go to 11. You guys know why? You have to go to 11. It just 
it's a rule. It is a rule established, for those of you who don't know, Nigel Tufnell. Nigel Tufnell said, mine goes to 11, so we have to do that. All right, so we should be able to clean up everything in here. These, can we upgrade these? These are now 44 years old or something like that. Well, wait, for sure this is a 1978 model because it says so in the manual. These transformers were made and certified 1978. So that's a long time ago. It's like, what, 44 years ago? Almost 45 years ago? Can we upgrade this? I think we... It, is there any advantage to upgrading it? I want you guys to comment and tell me, can we upgrade this? I know we can upgrade the lights. Upgrade those to LEDs. And where it's... Uh, Blue, we're going to put a blue LED. Uh, the blue one happened when the blue light comes on, you turn on momentum, it's transparent. And we're going to upgrade all these to the to the color that they have on them. I got LEDs for that. And we'll take the knobs off later. They also have the little clip, so we know the knobs. You get under there with, your, with a flat crowbar, and all you do is lift the clip, and it'll come off. You don't have to pry it and fight with it. But inside here, this is not complex. This is not complex circuitry. And some of this wire, we will upgrade the wire. Um, it looks okay, but uh, there's so much room in here. Why not just go up a little bit? These, these things right here. Now, in the Trans Amp, that was a bead. W23A, I think, I think that's right. What did we have on that? It was a BDW23A. When I open this clip right here, I'll be able to read what that is. And evidently, that's the big technological upgrade in these. And those are still a, a part that, that they manufacture. Um, whether they're worn out or not, to, or... Or is it worthwhile to upgrade those? They're like not even a dollar. So we could put in a new one. And maybe there's a better one. We, I'm learning just like you're learning. As far as I know, no one's ever showed the inside of one of these. I could not find anything anywhere on the internet. But that's it. And so this is pretty good. We can really, we can clean this case. And clean all these and we'll be back in business. I've got spades from the auto parts store to outfit all of these. We can put wires on them, we can make some quartz and stuff. It's really easy. What I think what we will do is we will make connectors and wires and take a terminal strip and connect this to a terminal strip so that when he sets it down and will however he uses wires coming off tracks. They can slide in a terminal strip and, and lock them down, and we can have really good connections here. That's a standard wiring connection. It's not, it, despite what you will see in all the forums out there, those are standard. I think they're reds if you're going to go look for some. All right, so there, that's where we're at. We now got the Twin 5 open, and we know what's in there. I need your help in figuring out the transformer. And whether or not that, uh, it looks like a voltage regulator, but when I looked up the specs on the other one, it was called something else. Uh, I'm guessing this is what Auto Pulse calls a transistor, because I don't see anything else in here that looks like a transistor. It's got the three prongs and a heatsink on it. That's got to be it right there. That's got to be the secret. So there it is.